This is the Army Today. Gail McCabe introduces us to an Apache maintainer who says there's nothing better than seeing his birds fly. In order to get this, you need this. When the mission calls for this, the capability is there because the guys on the ground are already doing this. The Apache is the Army's premier airborne weapons system. Staff Sergeant Patrick Brown says it's built to fight and survive. The Apache has been here since the beginning of the war, and it's, and it's just it's a very durable aircraft, and, it, and it's going to last. Brown has been an Apache maintainer for 14 years. I love my job. Today, he's a technical inspector for the 1st Air Cavalry Brigade, currently in Iraq. 1st Cav covers the skies of Iraq with 110 helicopters. They log on average 200 flight hours a day. 50 of the fleet are missile-carrying, ammo-pounding Apaches. So the only thing that we're changing now is the ALQ-144. He says the, attention to detail is paramount. The focus for everyone on his team is ensuring the birds are safe and able to perform. Just like a car engine, and we go the whole engine, they'll change the, the um, like I said, the, the rotors, the seals, the O-rings, um, even some of the wires are being have to be replaced. On average, Apaches are phased every 400 flying hours, about once every four to five months. Every single piece of the bird, inside and out, is inspected. And every part, according to Sergeant Brown, is critical. It makes you feel good to actually sit there and watch their helicopter after you got finished doing 100% inspection on it, and the soldier done all the work on it, put it back together, and they go out and fly. And it's, and it's actually making a difference out here in Iraq. So, you know, it makes you feel good. Gil McCabe. That's the Army Today from the Soldiers Media Center, Washington.